She obviously could play the game and has improved a lot. She doesn't let the disability, uh, in, in fact she rises above it, you know, uh, she doesn't let the disability affect, affect her enjoyment of golf. It's fantastic what she's achieved, she's brought such prestige to the club. She's one of our little stars. She's from the, uh, I think you started from over at the academy, didn't you? You shouldn't let the disability, and she's, she's living proof, you shouldn't let a disability stop you from doing whatever you like. Um, and, and that's all you can say, really. And then she's living proof that, that it doesn't. My involvement at this club began when I was introduced to the charity called Golf for Sale Children, which is a charity that I've been a part of for many years now. and. Yeah, it's just taken me off from there really and it's just influenced me to play more golf. A few years ago um, there was a professional uh, here and um, he asked me to help out to, uh, at a, a session which happened to be for disabled children. Uh, I sort of uh, put my hand up and said yeah I would do that. Um, I then subsequently became uh, the captain and in the year of a captain, uh, senior captain, uh, you run a, um, a charity. So I went with Golf for Disabled Children. That's how it came about. Ellie's uh, very good when it comes to uh, you know, promoting the charity and the work that she does by her, social, by her own personal social media channels and so on and just just basically raising awareness um, trying to ensure that as many people as possible in situations where they might not believe that golf is something that they're um, able to do able to do or would have the opportunity to do to for Ellie to be out there front and center shouting as you know at the top of her voice that actually you know golf is something they can do and Hagley Golf Club and the driving range and golf golf academy here is a place where they can do it probably the first person that I saw was Gareth Snellgrove, who's the head PGA pro up here. And he's, in a way, my coach, because he's obviously taught me how to play golf and taught me um, how to play the game. Coaching Ellie was kind of a moot point, really. It was more kind of just letting her do her thing, uh, answering the odd question that she might have every now and again. With Gareth, he doesn't push you to do anything, which is I find is really good, because he just does it at your own level. It's almost like she's always been here. You know, she's never been out of the place, and she's, I don't think she's been out of the place since, to be honest. She's just enjoyed it that much. Thanks to Gareth and Keith, obviously, for their uh, help as well. My dad, in a way, has been very supportive with me, and my dad has kind of influenced me to get my handicap down. My dad has helped me get my handicap down. For example, I've got it from 54 to 18 in a year. The ability that Ellie has to be able to swing through that ball in total commitment is amazing and I just wish that I could do it and I do have her in mind when I'm trying to do it out on the golf course. as well as attending the coaching or assisting us deliver the coaching. Ellie spends a lot of time just having some independent practice, which is one of the reasons, well, the key reason that she and any other golfer would progress. My warm up is, takes about seven to 10 minutes, um, because that's probably the most important thing to do before you, you know, even if you go to a competition on a really hot day. Obviously today it's pouring down with rain, which isn't the best ideal golf weather, but I'm a, you know, all round weather golfer, so I, I play as much as I can. The 18th hole, we've got um, a pond down the bottom, uh, which is about 150 yards just before the green. 
Um, so first, it's a par five, so take the big stick, which is obviously driver, and I just you looking at one it if you you can fade it around a little bit, but you mainly want to take a draw because um, of the shape of the hole. You don't really want to be getting in the rough on the right hand side. So the main thing with this shot is you just want to get it as straight as you can, but try and get a little bit of distance on it. So obviously take a few practice swings. And then look at my line and just go from there. That's what kind of shot you want is a draw. Most people in general are just absolutely amazed about how good she's been. So uh, I think they, they find it amazing that she can hit the ball so far and she's so good. She's very inspiring. We had to really have a go to, uh, to keep up with her. So, and she particularly showed us how to get on the green on the 17th, which I can't do. She's an inspiration to us all and it's fantastic what she's achieved. She's brought such prestige to the club and uh, advertised the club fantastically across, across the country. She does mention Hagley at the, every chance she gets, you know, yeah. and I mean, there's no, it's just the advertising for it. At home, it was it was nice because uh, when someone has dwarfism, some families don't like the fact that they've got dwarfism. So they a lot of I'm kind of lucky in a way with my family because a lot of children with dwarfism just get chucked out and left on the street. So I am quite lucky to have a family that actually do love me. I have a, two older brothers who are six and seven years older than me. So my brother's six foot five, so he had the same problems being too tall. There's always somebody out there that's going to pick on somebody, so it doesn't make any difference, and she's been fully aware of that. I still do get the odd occasion, getting, like, you know, taking the mickey out of, and a lot of, this is the thing that I kind of find funny, is because I do, I've done quite well in my golf. I think, for me, it's kind of um, a step to overcome, because then I've kind of proved to the wrong I've kind of proved to them that actually I don't re I'm not really bothered in what you say you can think of all you like but it's not going to stop me from doing what I love. She doesn't let the disability uh, in, in fact she rises above it you know uh, she doesn't let the disability affect affect her enjoyment of golf. To be able to reach the distance of a woman golfer professional off the TV is obviously like wow. There is that moment in golf when you're ball you've hit the ball correctly and it goes into the cup and you hear that sound and that is really the same for everybody at whatever level compare it with um, women golf eight uh, like eight years ago no one used to watch women golf and now there's millions of people that watch it we need somebody to inspire the the other juniors um, to see what sort of standard you can get to and, and have the confidence to play with the adults as well, that's really important. Determined, gritty and, well, she never gives up. That's, that's probably what everybody would say. But talented as well. Sport can open a lot of doors for you. You can go into all sorts of things from where you are now, broadcasting, you know, all sorts of things. Um, so just enjoy what you're doing now and enjoy the club. Would you sum yourself up in three words? Independent. Um, encouraging and enthusiastic, yeah, we'll use enthusiastic. Tenacious, talented. Keep level-headed, listen to people and to take on board advice that is given. Up to now she's done that superbly. Keep it going in the future.